wasn't quite committed to rugby, should we say, when I was 18, you know, I was more interested, more interested in eating and drinking. Like. I went in ETH uh, training. I think fortunately enough, they didn't do any fitness, they just concentrated on the rugby. So, you know, I was, I was a pretty decent ball handler, catcher, passer, that type of thing. So, yeah, and I a few, a couple of good games and they kind of asked me if I wanted to take it a bit more seriously, really. You know, I was lucky enough to actually play for them for three years and, you know, it was, you know when I was actually in the first team, it was the best sort of time of my life, it was great. I can be quite sulky, I guess, with things, and um, I found it really difficult. I didn't really know how to cope with it. Like now, if it happened now to someone, they'd have like a psychologist helping them out and that type of thing, you know, an arm on the shoulder, someone. But when it first happened, I just pretty much came back to the bench, you know, like shocked because I didn't know what was going on. So I was like, oh, I'm looking at people, and they were, oh, you know, the old talking tap in the back, and I just sort of broke down and then chucked my head in the towel and cried. <laughs> I miss John Thomas and Shane like sort of <laughs> coming onto the international scene because I was sort of blubbering into <laughs> my, my tower on the side of the field. <laughs> I think if you chuck me one of those uh, body mass things, I'm still way, I'm probably clinically obese now, but I kind of had hit the crossroads in 2007 when Gats came. I thought, all oh, right, look, I'm not going to put my finger down. I know what these Kiwi guys are like. I don't want to be taken off to half hour again. I'm, all right, I'll knuckle down and do this. You know, you can do more stuff on the field. You can like, look actually like a rugby player for once and not like some guy that just dragged off the street. It was big. When he first came along, obviously, the size on the man meant that he was uh, always had you know, the great scrummaging ability, but obviously the fitness was nowhere near what it needed to be to you know, be a world-class player. But you know, the, the leaps and bounds he's taken since then, uh, it was, it's incredible. I mean, people talk about him being the best tight head in the world. I mean, that's uh, that's a huge statement. And I said, you know, my limited knowledge of what goes on in the front row, you know, he, I think he's he's good for that title as well. I was off after seven minutes. So I tore my calf, so. I was, I limped off and about five minutes later he was sitting next to me, so I was like, you know, I was obviously getting and I was getting for him. I think the fact he's a ridiculously powerful bloke and the little winger guy ran into him and he just tackled him really well. You know, I know it did look malicious with a bit of a spear, but he's not like that. 14 men and, you know, I think France kind of, I don't know, shop, shop a bit really, but, you know, when Mike scored the try, you think we were, we had a chance to win it and we could have won it and, uh, you know, I think we were getting the All Rocks a good game in the final. If I can get the 100 caps and see how the body's feeling, I might knock on the head then. But if I could get to the World Cup, but you know, I'd, to play in four World Cups would be pretty good. You know, two in sort of either hemisphere, that'd be, um, and with all the games in Cardiff as well, that'd be excellent, I think. And uh, you know, that's a target now. It's only three years away, so I'm sure I could dig in and touch wood, barring any injury. These younger boys do keep it up. They do keep it, the spirits up, and uh, it can be a bit annoying sometimes. But uh, how much bouncy they are and what they talk about and stuff, because uh, like JLS and type of things like that. But uh, I don't. They are they good. They are good for the team. It's quite a good blend. It's quite weird because you kind of got some of them like 12, and then some of us like 30. So there's a massive gap between us. So you know, it was a lifetime gap there. I've seen him do chins with like a phenomenal amount of weight on, weight on the belt and just banging them out and I was doing like a pro and pull, you lie on a bench and you have to kind of pull it to your chest or whatever and um, I had sort of 130 on, I think it was oh, decent enough, you know. He comes along and said, oh, do we pull him off? I said, no, can you put uh, 10 on either side? And then he just started banging them out like that and uh, I just left and I had to get out there. Was, uh, he's too freakish of an athlete to get him in the in the gym, especially when a fat old school prop like myself.
I did enjoy it. It was brilliant. And, you know, as I said, for the boys to come out and we were a bit sort of uh, nervous how competitive we were going to be. And I think we kind of, you know, may have been lacking a few lungs here and there, but we, uh, you know, dug in and showed uh, we're not bad in the end.